Iceland gives us some of the most recognizable and breathtaking images of nature nestled in the North Atlantic Ocean between Greenland and Norway. When it comes to climate change, Iceland is a near-perfect laboratory for scientists like Berger Einarsson of the Icelandic Met Office. He is studying glaciology, specifically the water that flows underneath causing glaciers to slide. So on the interface between the bedrock and the ice, the glacier is sliding and if you add water to that interface, it can act as a lubrication uh, for that sliding plane. And most of our glaciers have been losing mass during the last 20 years or so. The sliding increases as glaciers melt, forming moulins, or giant holes in the surfaces, where water flows into a complex network of rivers below. So probably earlier this summer, uh, or uh, late during last autumn, this would all be water filled, water flowing through here, uh, transporting melt from the surface of the glacier, and by the base and out to the, you know, out to the proglacial river. Iceland's glaciers provide scientists like Einarsson with valuable data that can help predict larger, more inaccessible melting like those in Greenland. Maybe 200 years ago we would look at glaciers as, uh, as a bad thing, like a, uh, like a dragon coming down from the mountains, devastating the farmland and so on. Uh, and maybe they are dragons, they are big and powerful and they are strong, but they are also delicate creatures. And there are many processes uh, in the glaciers that we still have to get a better understanding of. Uh, and we need to think about the glaciers, uh, maybe not purely just because of the glacier, but also because of the sea level change. Uh, and the sea level change is a, a major threat to uh, uh, mil millions of peoples all over the world, in Bangladesh, in Florida and other places, I guess. So um, that's something that we need to think about, uh, this connection between glacier and sea level rise. It has been predicted that sea levels could rise as much as one meter over the next 100 years. These glaciers provide crucial data to Einarsson and his team at the Icelandic Met Office, measuring the melting ice runoff and predicting changes in their environment to provide data on climate change. <laughs>